Hello there guys! For today's video, I'm going to show you how to change light direction using AI tool in Photoshop. And also, we will dive deeper into using smart portrait under neural filters, using exposure for our shadow, and masking. So let's get started! So here in our document, I got here a portrait image. We're going to change the light direction, noticing that this image has a lighting on the left side part of our model's face and and our shadows on the right now our goal here is to switch that so the first step we're going to do here is we're going to create a duplicate layer of our background layer so going on to the layers panel click on the background layer to make it active then press ctrl or command plus j now once we already have the duplicated layer click on that to make it active then go to the menu bar go to filters then choose on neural filters under the neural filters panel i'm going to make use of the smart portrait so all i have to do is to click this toggle switch here there you go the effect is already applied then under the setting of it go to global just click this arrow then choose on light direction if i'm going to click and move this lighter going to the left well the lighting will be to the left as well so if I do it like that, try to add brightness on the left side on the face. But if we're going to switch this one, all you have to do is to click and drag this one moving to the right so that the lighting will be also on the right face. There you are. All right. So for the amount, I'm going to set this one to the fullest of 50 plus. Okay. Then I'm going to click OK for now. There you go. Now, once we, once we have this selection on our subject, press Ctrl to, and D to deselect. And by the way, if you find this video helpful so far, please consider subscribing to help YouTube algorithm show my videos to other nerds like us. Well, moving on to the next step is we're going to start masking. So, on that layer where we already apply the neural filter, click on that. Then, go down here, click on this icon, add a layer mask, like that. There you go. Then click on the layer mask thumbnail. Let's start masking by using brush. Press B for the sh shortcut key of the brush tool. Then from the options panel, I'm going to set the opacity just into amount of 20%. There you go. For the foreground color, I'm going to set this one to black. So I have to do switch this one. All right. Then for the brush, I'm going to make use of a soft brush. All right. Now I'm going to start masking this part that I want to remove and just like this white thing on this on her hair All right okay something like that all right in my case this one looks better all right but as you have noticed here it just tried to uh, once we apply the filter it, it's just balance our lighting right okay now the next tool here is that we're going to add shadows on the left side part of our model's face so to do that going on to the layers panel go down here go to the adjustment layer icon click this one then choose on exposure then for the properties panel of the exposure so i'm going to click and drag this one putting the amount of negative 1.50 something like that all right and then click on the layer mask thumbnail of that exposure layer click that Let's start masking again. Press B for the brush tool. Yes, I'm going to set the opacity to 20%. Okay. Now I'm going to invert it. Okay, so all I have to do is to press Ctrl plus I. There you go. So you, you will notice here that the layer mask thumbnail turns to black. Now let's bring shadows on the left side of the face by switching on the foreground color to white. Then for the opacity, yes. I'm going to set this one to 10% for now. Okay. And then I'll start creating shadows on the left side of the, our subject's face. All right. So just start brushing. You just have to be, be detailedly putting on the shadows. All right. Now this one looks better in my case. Okay. So let's also add shadows on the other side. All right, now this one created a shadow effect on it. So let me show you the before and after. This one is the before, and this one is the after. 
And that is how to change direction using AI tool in Photoshop.